In 2023, a fake explosion video near the Pentagon briefly spooked the markets. A few months later, fake celebrity endorsements, fake interviews, fake historical footage, all completely synthetic and often impossible to verify at first glance. The Oxford Internet Institute calls this post-truth 2.0, a world where fake becomes familiar. In 2022, AI gave us one of the internet's most cursed videos. Early AI video tools produce jarring and surreal results, like glitchy fever dreams. They often melted and morphed in bizarre ways. The first generation of models was based on something called GAN. GAN, a generative adversarial network, means that the AI sees every frame as a separate image. GANs, when treated every frame like a separate image, meaning there were no sense of motion or continuity. That's why GAN-generated videos often felt broken. In other words, AI models treated videos like a flipbook, generating one image at a time. But that caused problems. This happened because AI didn't understand motion. And this is the reason why the first Will Smith video was the way it was. The clip was created by an AI model called Model Scope with the GAN technique creating a nightmarish figure, eventually becoming a meme. But nevertheless, tools like Runway, Gen1, Kyber and Bombo Dream exploded on social media. This led to people creating Reddit communities, Twitter pages dedicated to these goofy AI videos. And that was the fun of it. Generating longer, smooth motion required far more training data and compute than these first tools had. So, the results were typically just a few seconds of weird, disjointed footage. In short, the technology in 2022-23 was powerful but immature. But something shifted in 2023. AI videos had stopped being a joke. One of the first signs was when Runway's Gen 2 came out. Unlike earlier models, Gen 2 wasn't just generating one frame at a time. It could now animate transitions, track objects and simulate basic camera movements. This happened because AI models had moved on from GAN. They started adopting another technique called diffusion. Diffusion was a leap from GAN. It could create continuity in videos as it could now remember what it created in the previous frame. Unlike GANs, diffusion doesn't treat each frame separately. It understands motion, sequence and continuity. Diffusion models work by starting with pure visual noise and then slowly removing the noise to reveal a coherent image. That's why diffusion-based AI video feels smoother. Scenes flow, characters stay consistent and camera moves actually make sense. Suddenly, people could stitch together short scenes, add custom styles, even direct the camera with prompts like pan left or zoom in. Around the same time, Pika and Kyber entered the picture. Pika made it possible to animate a still image with motion and add a simple 3D camera effects. Kyber gave creators control over art styles, pacing and camera flow. You could pick a mood, upload a song and let the visuals dance to it. Artists like Linkin Park, Kid Kudi and Grimes released AI-powered music videos. In 2024, Coca-Cola remade its iconic Christmas ad entirely with generative AI. Viewers barely noticed. In blind tests, many couldn't even tell it was AI made. But how did it get so good so fast? AI learned how to hold the characters across time. Motions became smoother and the story arcs became possible. This was a huge leap. This happened because of three breakthroughs. First, motion-aware generation. Models like Sora and Runway Gen 2 started learning motion as a pattern. The second breakthrough was temporal coherence. In simple words, the AI started remembering. If a woman wore a red dress in the first frame, she still wore it in the fifth frame. And the third breakthrough was AI's camera awareness. Like earlier, if you prompted a slow zoom into the forest, the AI had no idea what it meant. Now, models like Kyber and Pika understand prompts like tracking shot, dolly zoom, rotate from above. And just when it felt like AI had figured out video, another leap happened. Sound. Tools like Google's VO3 started syncing sound effects, music and even dialogue, all within the same generation pass. They're watching the north exit. Use the service tunnel. AI videos have come a long way, in just a few years, but it's still not flawless. 
because if you look closely you'll still find cracks in the illusion if you actually notice the first problem is character consistency in short clips the characters look fine but stretch that a little more and you'll see things start to drift faces change slightly eyes widen hairstyles flicker between frames clothes reshape mid scene for storytelling that's a problem because you can't build an emotional connection with a character who keeps changing identities the second problem lies in fine control if you want to fix just the background or change a single gesture you can't for creators that's frustrating and the third problem is scene physics and logic ai has learned how things look but it still struggles with how things move sometimes people float objects move unnaturally a glass of water pours sideways or a person opens a door and the door doesn't exist in the next frame the world looks real but it just doesn't behave real and that breaks the emotion these limitations don't kill the magic but they remind us that it's still ai 2025 might be the moment ai stops chasing reality and starts overtaking it this is where we enter hyper realism eventually full scenes dialogue and even emotion may be synthesized but when this happens the difference between real and fake you won't be able to tell without standards people won't be able to tell what's real even in journalism or education the meme era is over and the ai video revolution has already begun it's about what happens when imagination is no longer limited by the tools we hold but only by the prompts we write and that's the world we're walking into frame by frame pixel by pixel prompt by prompt